Okay, so this is the second operation and third operation of the, the head that goes on the cylinder. Um, drip this one a little differently um, since it's a tougher piece. You'll see when we get through with all of it, there's not a real convenient way to grip it. So I just put a, a screw right down through the center of it. It makes a small hole that's easily patched with just a little patch of wax or something. And then I got this cap on here and then um, this uh, guide disc. Well, I used the pattern, uh, pattern cutting bit on the previous operation just to rough out the blanks. So that's a really fast cycle time. It takes me, you know, 10 seconds to cut it and maybe 30 seconds or so to get it on and off there and put another one on. So I just blasted these out of a uh, um, square piece of stock. And then these operations here. You'll see I got a stack finger bit here. That's what cuts all the fins. They can cut about a half inch deep. And then this is just a wing cutter because I need to clear out um, some of the area at the bottom uh, on, on that so it fits down into the cylinder head. So um, they're all guided by bearings uh, here. So pretty simple operations. Let's see, we'll have at it. That's the top part of the cylinder head. This fits down into the bore on the cylinder. And then the only operation left to do is, is it gets a hemispherical or semi-hemispherical combustion chamber machined into it. And we'll do that next. There's the part.